A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of your listeners. Welcome back to your Blessings channel where we're going to talk about 25th of May's Blessing where Supreme Father is giving us a lesson of how to have good wishes and good feelings towards others. And by the way, that helps us to stabilize our mind a lot and remain happy throughout the day. Even though people say things about us, say maybe impure things or even talk impure or think impure about us. But what should come from us is something different. So let's see what does God say. Baba says, may you be a true server. Somebody who is serving other people truly is somebody who is not just helping others, others with finances or giving them any shelter. It's also with good wishes towards them while they're doing those acts of courage and acts of service. So God says, may you be a, a true server who gives all souls drops of good wishes and pure feelings. It's nothing to do with any particular sect, any particular religion or any particular caste or any particular group of people. It's about all souls on this earth. We can unite with all souls on, in, on this earth and then unite with the Supreme Being or we can differentiate between souls and be differentiated and be separated from the Supreme Creator of all souls. Choice is ours. So God says, <coughs> doing service with words is not the only form of service like we are doing over here on this channel, sharing this blessing every day. This is the service of the words, but that's not enough God is saying. To have good wishes and pure feelings is also doing service. Some people don't listen to us sometimes. We want them to change in their life for their own good. Could be children, could be a spouse, could be a good friend. God says when words don't work, your good wishes and good feelings work and they will come to being when the time is right. But sometimes when we try to change somebody and that person doesn't change, we generally curse that person. This person is like this. This person will never change. This person has got this bad habit. I don't think this person can ever change. God says, don't do that. Stop that. Because first of all, you are removing or reducing your own willpower. You're impurifying your own mind. You're creating peacelessness in your own mind. And that peacelessness is first affecting you and then it will affect others. Don't do that. Don't curse yourself and don't curse others. So God says, to have good wishes and pure feelings is also doing service. The occupation of Brahmins, Brahmins are those souls who follow Father Brahma or Adam, the first creation of God, the purest creation of God, that's where pure feelings. The occupation of Brahmins is doing godly service. Wherever you may be living, continue to do service. I'm living in Darjeeling, I'm continuing doing service. No matter what someone is like, even if someone is like a true Ravan, generally people they say this thing for Sometimes the kids, this child of mine is like a true Ravan, he never listens to me. I tell him to do this and he does equally opposite or he is very naughty, extremely impolite or extremely undis indisciplined and that's where the parents and they say this child is like a Ravan or some even mothers say my husband is like a Ravan or some husbands say my wife is just like a Ravan. So God says that even if somebody has got those negative traits, negative feelings or negative habits or character also. Even if someone is like a Ravan, true Ravan, even if someone insults you, continue to give them drops of good wishes. So drops of good wishes means drop over here is a metaphor for thoughts. So every thought of yours will act like a nectar even in a poisonous bowl. If you keep on adding nectar, after some time the poison will be out and there will only be nectar. So even if somebody's intellect or buddhi or mind is full of poison, God says you can still keep on pouring that drop of good wishes, good feelings. And after some time you will find that soul change. It might take years, it might take a couple of years, it might take just a month also. But don't stop that because when you stop that, your own willpower, your own pure feelings, your own peace of mind will go away. God then says drops of good wishes and pure feelings from your treasures and you will then be called a true server. So it's not just about speaking out knowledge or giving out lectures. God says if you don't have good feelings and you're giving out lecture and knowledge for the sake of earning name and fame, that could also be a case. You're earning name and fame and you don't have any good wishes for the people you're serving, then that also is not good service or true service. So I hope you understand what God wants us to do and may you bring this change today itself.
for anybody and everybody. Could be your relative, could be your friend, could be your own spouse. And with this Om Shanti.